Hi guys, this is Gabriel from Catspace. Just a quick video this time, just to show you how, how you can create your own custom Worldment profiles. I'm just going to use a DXF that I've um, sourced from the internet. I'm just going to use a Bosch, Bosch Rextros profile. So, what I want to do is actually start a normal SolarWorks part. Just click on a new part. And what I want to do, I'm, I'm doing it this way because I like to control. I want to make sure that my profile is on the front plane. Um, and that's why I'm creating a part first. So what I'm going to do is just select the front plane, insert, just scroll down to where it says DXFDWG, and that way we can find where our DXF is. Double click on that, and it'll start importing it all for us. I'm going to import it in as a 2D sketch. Just click next, um, and when I, I want to import the dimensions as well. You can even do the constraints. Just because there's lots of um, lines and segments here, I, I'm just not going to do it this time. Um, and I do want to merge points closer than point 0.1 just in case they're not merged and just hit finish okay so that shouldn't take too long and as soon as it's done close this one just zoom to fit and you can see there's my profile what I actually want to do though is I want to move it so that the origin point here it matches my origin point so I'm just going to quickly move all of them starting point is that one there and I want to make sure it goes to my origin point just like this okay so I'm happy with that that's all I need to do we can fix it up if we need to but I'm just going to exit my sketch okay you can draw that if you like as well um, now um, that's all you need to do for the Worldman profile um, what, what you need to do next though is actually select click on the sketch one make sure that's selected and the file save as and just make sure that our savers type is a lib feature part which is a library feature part um, automatically takes you to, to the design library in program data and what you need to do is go into your C drive go into program files go into your SolarWorks, I've named mine 2014 SolarWorks, and then go to Lang, English and Worldment Profiles. Now this is where it is by default um, if you've changed it then just um, place it where you have moved your Worldment Profiles. I'm just going to create a new folder called Custom. Just double click on that. I'm going to create a subfolder called Bosch Rex Tross because you need, just need to subdivide it. This is the way you need to set it up and this is now the name of the extrusion and I'm going to call it 45 by 45 by 10 millimeter T slot okay and you can see as soon as that's happened because I selected it it's got a little L um, if, if you did if you forgot to select it you can just right click and say add to library and it should work the same so I should be able to just close that now start a new SolarWorks part just so I can actually test that it works just go to my top plane just draw it quickly, a rectangle, just say 500. And just do that to 500 as well. Okay, zoom to fit, just go to my worldments, and we should be able to find custom Bosch Rex Stroth that I just made, and the 45 by 45 by 10 mil slot. Now I can just click on these lines, just hit OK, and we can just treat it as a normal Worldman profile. It might as well, and if we look at the actual side profile, there it is as well. Thanks guys for watching, just email me if you have any questions. Thanks, bye.